If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that your ServiceNow navigation experience sucks. But the good news is we're here to make it awesome. Uh, what do you mean my navigation sucks? So glad you asked. Let's do an analysis. It's time to get to work. Now, what I want you to do is go to the navigator bar and find your projects. Bar and projects. Okay. Which one? Uh, the projects one. The projects one's from your navigator bar. Okay. Project status configuration? No, projects. Projects on business application? No, projects on your navigator bar. Project validations? No, Bridget, projects. You told me this was supposed to be fun. All right, scratch that, let's try again. We're gonna report on the projects you've been working on, so go to your navigator bar and go to reports. Okay, navigator bar, report. There you go, go to reports. Again, which one? The one that says reports on your navigator bar. Resource reports? No, Bridget, that's for resource management. I just want you to go to reports. Request reports? No, reports. Don't want to do this anymore. Okay, let's fix that. Let's go to our navigator bar and search for navigation. Okay, more specifically, we're talking about unified navigation configuration. This module allows us to define these top level navigation options, which is a phenomenal way to make navigation easier for certain types of users. <laughs> we can now think of navigator bars as being separate to certain roles. Let's take a look at the unified navigation configuration I made for core admin. I'll use a name, whether or not it's active, what its order is, lower numbers meaning farther left, and you can also hide or reveal this option to certain roles. Now we already have some modules loaded up, so let's create another one. From here, you're loading up what's going to be in this top level nav configuration. You have the options between applications and modules. Let's make Decision Builder a module on this experience. Pick Module, Decision Builder, and now we see Decision Builder is on the list of things that will appear in Core Admin. Now imagine being an admin and instead of searching through your navigator bar through multiple instances of business rules, reports, I can just go to core admin and I can pin that and I have just the single modules that I want to do my work. Publish me. I should have set the poet. Now you may have noticed I don't have this nav menu hidden from any roles, but I have only made it visible to admin. Me being an admin, you can clearly see that I have the core admin menu. But if we impersonate our good friend Rory Fnort, we'll see that he does not have that core admin menu. But Rory is a resource manager and I did go ahead and make a resource menu. So when Rory clicks the resource menu, you can see that he's got the entire resource application plus the view run reports option. Let's take a look at our navigation menu configs. We'll open up the resource one and we'll see that it's defined as having the module of view run and the application of resource. Just in case you're curious, I did test this with the same role being hidden and visible for this menu. And based on the fact that I'm logged in as me, an admin, the system clearly prefers hidden. Also, if you're curious, I activated a whole bunch of new menus and we might be wondering what happens if I have too many menus to list on the width of my screen. So you'll notice that there's this triple dot menu that comes after the last one it can display, and that has all the extra menus that you can find. Okay, folks, just think about all the times you've been searching for reports and you have to go down through all that crazy mess of your navigator bar and all the times that you search for words that repeat on the navigator bar and you don't have to inflict that pain on your users. You've got a simple, dead easy fix for that. Give your users a better role-based experience for their navigation. <laughs> if you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1,500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.